Well, so that's our big question here, right? It's, it's developing for that Apple Watch. I'm joined right now uh, by Alexander uh, Abis. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, Alex, Abis. Abis. Uh, Strava mobile developer. So Strava is a, a fascinating company and an interesting app, but developing for a watch. What was that like? It was, uh, it was challenging. Uh, Strava has been doing uh, wearables for playing with wearables for quite some time now, starting with the, the Pebble, the Android Wear, and, and, a, and a few others. Uh, and the watch was sort of this con continuation of this, this work. And so it came with its new, its own set of challenges. So, you, so you've got some experience with the, with the form factor, right. some experience about thinking how people will use it, particularly uh, for users of your app, which are who are runners and, and cyclists. But I wonder, um, uh, specifically writing for Apple's device, software is very different than other Apple software? Yes, it's a completely new SDK, a completely new way of doing things. Uh, but Apple's been providing um, great tools and has been um, helping us through through this process with, so? with tools and documentations and um, good good uh, responsiveness for our developer relations uh, people and everything. So. Now, the, the watch, apparently, well, there was a lot of other um, uh, capabilities that were considered with the watch that didn't actually ship with the watch. Um, were you guys thinking about ways to use those things? You know, of course, there's the heart rate monitor, which is a big part of the Strava user's experience if they choose to go that way. Right. Uh, we, we were considering it. I think uh, Apple's focusing the, the efforts on, on the, the core functionality at this point. And I think for us, it, it, the quote unquote limited capabilities have helped us sort of focus our energy to, towards, some, towards really the core of what users will want and will use this for. So talking about that, that, walking away from some of the things that you might have done, what did you decide not to do? It was, a, it was very much about analyzing the form factor and trying to figure out, okay, what, what do we really want this, these, our users, you know, a runner, a cyclist, um, what do we want them to do with this watch? And it's about you know, giving them the, the data and the information they really need at the moment they're looking at it. So it was really about focusing on the, the minimal amount of data. What do you think other developers, have you seen things that other developers have done now on the watch, now that everyone's sort of showing off their wares, uh, that look clever to you? Oh, that's a good question. I, I think uh, we, we saw uh, Uber do some really nice things with the, with the watch. Like I, mean, what? Uh, I mean, just simply you know raising raising your wrist and being able to just call an Uber right there and then. I think that that's pretty nice. Um, it's I think everyone's still sort of playing with the idea and trying to figure out what exactly we want to do. I think uh, the first version of the applications will be interesting, but I think there's going to be a it's going to be an iterative process. Was it easier to write for this software platform than some of the other watch platforms that you've developed on? Uh, it was it was different. I, don't, I wouldn't say it was easier or harder. I think uh, they all have um, their own intricacies and, and uh, ways of doing things. Uh, it, it, the watch is a fairly big departure from the regular iOS SDK, but uh, overall, you know, it's a it's a pretty simple simple SDK. And what uh, in terms of de deciding? Because a lot of companies have to make a decision: Are we going to develop for this small platform now? It's only going to get bigger over time, or not? Um, if the watch is a flop. You know, a lot of resources devoted to this. Um, why did you guys decide to be there right when it was out, out the gate? Um, we thought it's a, it's a great form factor. We've always tried to get um, our, the athletes, the Strava athletes, the information they want when they need it. And I think the watch is really core and, and provides this, this experience that allows a, the user, the runner, to just look at the watch very quickly, to pause, start, resume their activity, and, and do things like that. And I think that's, that's a really great experience.